Unit 8 going away. Hello my dear students, how are you doing? Well, I hope all of you are in the ping of health. Learning objective. By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to number 1. Mesh 18 out of 20 things for holiday picture with the answer correctly. Number 2. Correctly identify 6 out of 8 answers of traveling quiz after listening to an audio. Let's watch a video. The video link have been provided in the WhatsApp group. So you can watch the video by clicking the link in the WhatsApp group. After watching the video, here are some of the questions to ponder. Do you like to travel? Great, me too. Next, if you like to travel, what are the things you usually bring while traveling? Let's listen and repeat the words after me. Rock sack. Suitcase, swimming costume, towel, sleeping bag, trunks, insect spray, sun cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap. Shampoo, waterproofs, water bottle, wash bag, torch, pen knife, phrase book, guide book, tent. These are the sentences that will describe the words mentioned earlier. Number one, when you go to camping and walking, the best thing for carrying your clothes is a rucksack. Number two, a water bottle is useful if you are camping or walking. If you are walking in a hot country, you need to drink water for at least a liter every hour. Number three, a good tent and sleeping bag for one person weight is usually about 24 kilos. Number four, you need insect spray because mosquitoes like places which are wet. Number five, a phrase book and guidebook are useful. For example, if you go to Italy, you can practice using the simple words in foreign language, such as ciao, when you go to Colosseum. Number six. A torch and pen knife are the things that you are not normally use in the bathroom. The Arctic are the places that you probably not need a swimming costume or trunks and sunscreen. Or number seven. Number 8. A rainforest is a place that you probably need waterproofs. Affirmative and negative sentences in the sentences that we read earlier. What is affirmative and negative sentence? So here are some of the examples of affirmative and negative sentences. The first one is affirmative sentence. A torch and pen knife are the things that you are normally use in the bathroom. As for negative, negative sentence, a torch and pen, pen knife are the things that you are not normally use in the bathroom. Negative sentence using, uh, you contains not 
while affirmative sentences does not contain not word. So negative usually will deliver a negative uh, sentence towards the receiver. So next examples, affirmative sentence. So the first one is, you need insect spray because mosquito like places which are wet. As for negative sentence, you do not need spray because mosquito do not like places which are dry. So negative sentence, you do not need. While affirmative, you need insect. So that is the difference between affirmative and negative. Remember that negative sentence always contain negative structure such as not, does not, and more. Next, let's match the picture with the correct answer. So the first one is tent. The second picture is waterproof. The third picture is Tosh. Next activity, I would like you all to take out a pencil and a piece of paper to jot down your answer. I would like you all to work out, to work on the matching activities on the next slide. Pause the video of the next slide to complete your activity. In this slide, you can pause your video. So, have you completed the matching activity? Therefore, I would like you all to check your answer using this. Um, scheme and after checking your answer i will let you all to write your name as well as your mark on the youtube comment section for examples below these are your full name and write your marks and don't forget to write the denominator which is 20 Next activity, I would like you all to listen to the audio that I've provided on the WhatsApp group and work on the quiz in Kahoot. So this is the method on how to log, uh, on how to use the Kahoot. Okay, so you just uh, type Kahoot. K-A-H-O-O-T on Google and then you click on play Kahoot enter game pin here button and after you click on this um, link you will add your game pin that I've provided in WhatsApp group and then you can start play the quiz in Kahoot, okay? That's all for today. See you on the next lesson. Bye-bye.